Well, we all love getting out and about. We love calling this home. But as you get outside, and sometimes things can go a little astray. And we're talking, yes, foot and ankles here today. We're at the Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute with Dr. Mark Gould. Great to be here. This is out at the beaches. And we are talking to an orthopedic foot and ankle reconstructive surgeon. And a lot of people don't know the difference between that and a podiatrist. Can you, can you explain what that is? Sure. Well, thanks for the opportunity to come mm -hmm. visit with you this morning. Um, many people don't know that there is a difference, but uh, as an orthopedic foot and ankle reconstructive surgeon, I did uh, four years of medical school, five years of an orthopedic surgery residency, and mm -hmm. then a year of fellowship um, and advanced study uh, in concerning the biomechanics and conditions of the foot and ankle. Mm -hmm. And I, I spent uh, 22 years in the Navy as an orthopedic foot and ankle reconstructive surgeon. And during that time, got to deal with a lot of uh, war wound reconstructions and more of the complex types of injuries we see. Okay, and you, so it's, it's important to know your doctor, be comfortable with your doctor, so that's good to know. And you mentioned biomechanics and how very important that is. Can you explain why? Sure. Everything we do about the foot and ankle, whether it's non-operative management uh, through things like orthotics and shoe wear modification mm -hmm. uh, or a surgical plan is based on what goes on in the biomechanics of the foot and ankle. And real briefly, right. um, these, these 26 bones of the foot and ankle are broken down into three zones. There's what's called the hind foot, mm -hmm. the midfoot, and the forefoot. Okay. And in the human foot, a lot gets expressed in the forefoot. People look down and they see it going on here. Uh -huh. But if the biomechanics that are causing that are back here mm -hmm. and your treatment plan doesn't address back here, you're less likely to have a successful outcome. And so that's what we really focus on, the entire foot and ankle and how it plays out and is expressed in the forefoot. It's amazing how many bones there are in the foot and ankle. I had no idea until I talked to the doctor here. So there's an emerging field called biologics. Can you explain what sure. that is? Yes. yes. So that's kind of the what I call the wild west of <laughs> medicine right now. Um, and it's, it's critical, there's a lot going on, a, a lot of claims being made, mm -hmm. and it's important that we interpret the scientific evidence that's available and are able to teach that to our patients and help explain to them how this can impact their treatment. With the goal being to decrease swelling, decrease pain, decrease scarring, mm -hmm. increase motion and long-term functional outcome. Very interesting, and most folks don't know you can have ankle and foot replacement, just like hip replacements. So think about that. Similar. So tell us about that. Similar. So particularly with regards to ankle replacement, uh -huh. um, you know, for, for many years, the gold standard for end-stage debilitating ankle arthritis has been that we fuse the ankle. Uh -huh. uh, but actually since the 70s, we've been replacing ankles, and it's really come into its own, I would say, over the last 10 to 15 years. Uh -huh. And most recently, with uh, CT scanning and 3D printing, we're able to generate a more patient-specific uh, plan and an implant that goes in with less surgical time for the patient, less blood loss, and better motion and long-term functional outcomes. So it's a very exciting field. If a patient's dealing with debilitating end-stage ankle arthritis, mm -hmm. I recommend they discuss with an experienced arthroplasty surgeon this is a possible modality. Um, when they're coming up with however they choose to, to manage it. Yeah, some good advice. I can tell about your passion for your job. Tell us what was the most rewarding part of your job. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm, I'm blessed uh, as an orthopedic surgeon. It's, it's a wonderful area and my, my subspecialty in foot and ankle reconstructive surgeries. So much fun to watch people who have limited mobility, mm -hmm. pain issues, and help them get to a better place to enjoy their life more. And I guess I, what I really enjoy is the working relationship with my patients. And when they leave my office, I wanted to know they were well cared for and they were cared about. And, and that's, that's really led to some really cool lifelong relationships with my patients. So I really appreciate that. So you treat it all, a wide range of ailments. Yeah, well, thank you. Um, anything from non-operative things such as plantar fasciitis or mm -hmm. feet that hurt okay. to sports yeah. injuries uh -huh. um, to arthritis to flat foot, the, the whole gamut. And uh, you, can get, you can get me through uh, joionline.net or at 904-JOI2000. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got wonderful fellowship trained orthopedic reconstructive surgeons at all the divisions, but come out to the beach. Uh, it's, uh, it's wonderful out here. All right, relationships experience, got it all. Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute at the beaches. And of course, for another look at this segment, head to firstcoastliving.net later today.